Hello, Lynn. And have to begin this the way we normally do. Quack. Quack, quack. That's right. It's the beginning of a new season. In this case here in the Northern Hemisphere, summer. And every time the season changes, I try to go duck hunting. So, Brett Collins Bulladrome. This is where Watch Me Suck at Bowling starts to take on a uh, more truer form. Average skill, according to Duck Pin Congresses, I forget the name of it, is 90 to 110. So it's 10 points higher than Candle Pin, and it does not translate for me at all. The bowling balls are just big enough I don't have good control of them. I find I'm not the only Candle Pin bowler that has difficulty with ducks. So I'm glad it's not me. And funny thing is, it's one of the more professionals. And the smooth upper Bernard. Hello to you too. So here we are to give us the usual lane one. Let's see how this train wreck goes. good thing is because of the humidity there's less slide so it's a good slide instead of holy crap I'm on an ice rink slide And for those of you that are well aware of this place, this pin setter does not set the two pin very well. Like I said, barely have control of these things. I got a nine. I guess Dave Manila would say, in the land of this particular sport, we have left the ducks capacitor. The king duck remains benign.
looks like the ducks have went halfway to Worcester. Welcome to Mason's. Yeah, we need a mark. cigar a week eight. Half time report and as expected changing genres the first game usually sucks. This is no exception. Eight, nine, nine, that and an eight. Forty would cut it in candle pins but not in ducks. We are a somewhat de healthy dent away from skills there. Well, make sure your bowling alley's not gonna close first. Make sure it's doing good business. Then if you want, go for it. took the risk. Oh, finally went. We can probably save this game with El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? leg but I left the queen duck sleeve. Can you tell that the two pin is not exactly setting properly? Anyway we got a seven fill. Watch this thing stop working, we have to do something else. Once again, for El Stinko, the bonus ball, and hey, for once, this two pin looks like it's in the right spot. Now, unlike candle pin, turkey is just like regular bowling, three strikes in a row. No little gifts, no uh, three marks. Had to be all strikes. But I'm okay with sparing. Yeah. 
Well, I left the duck pin version of the Kaliri for a lousy five. Kaliri in two shots, but hey, ten. Suddenly a subpar game. I just need eight points within two frames. All right, we went from crap to bottom end of average, just barely. There we go. Spare, and a spare, the first ball knocking down seven. Then a 10, first ball leaving the duck pin Kaliri. Okay, here in New England, the candle pin terms stick. 10, eight, nine, one away from dead center of average skill. All righty, game number two. means it's time for El Stinko bonus ball. And the two pins align. Let's see if this thing stays on course. We get the spread duck wings with one wing slightly shot off. Craptacular five, 15 for the first frame.
out of ten, though. Slipped stink frame of two, which ruins everything we did. my normal camp pin throws wind up going to the right, it made sense to go for the one on the right. That would be a nine. We were doing so well, then that, then that, then that, the great collapse is upon us. We're at the same point last time, but I don't think it'll end the same. Hello, Tom. Let's see how this goes. But like I said, marginally acceptable is just three of the 12 games are 90 or higher, which is bottom end of average and better.
Alrighty. Sherman is stuck. At least I... This is one of those rare moments where something goes weird or question something and I actually still remember which ball comes next. We're going for a spare. Alright, it looks like the Try to go for the spare. That were only ball two. Need a mark, nothing else will work. Here's the mark we needed, that just barely stay out of the gut. Alrighty. Time for a little stink of the bonus ball. Let's see if it really does help and get this game at the very bottom end of the average. Eh, doable six. If I get no more, I just squeaked at the bottom end of that.
Now Stinko, the bonus ball. This could get us in the middle of average. Does not matter how ugly it is. It was the end of the game. That was a bonus fill. Seven. All right, right at the bottom, not bottom, right at the middle of average. Remember that points are higher here in Ducks because it's easier, but I sure as hell can't do it. That and that didn't help, but here we go. Nine to nine, spare. First knocking down six with the second spare. And then the bonus throw was a seven, right in the middle at 101. That's above average in Candlepin. Around 115 or so would equate to getting 100 in Candles. This at an angle I can't really read it too well. Gabriel or something like that? Sorry if I'm getting it wrong. It's at an angle like tough angle to read. I'm literally right up against the wall. I mean, you can kind of see that right here. There's coke hooks. Game number three. If we get one more good game, we meet our minimum requirement of number of good games. Duck remains for nine. Lousy six, and it looks like Sherman's up to his old tricks again.
Might be moving over to lane two. That's my guess. Sherman is not being very cooperative today. And three, and it's the second time that it's screwed up. And again, these things are ancient machines. No one makes parts for them anymore. Unfortunately, no company seemed to have any faith in duck pins. Whereas, whereas another company did have faith in candle pins and started making Z4 pin setters. Spread duck wings. That's a seven. The ball just started going in the gutter when it hit that over. The great collapse continues with eight. Well, if, uh, two good games in a row, we can't have three. That's kind of not normal in ducks. Okay, okay. Collapse, collapse, and that's still a collapse. In candle pins, that would have been fine. Even candle pins, 39 is weak. So this game is going to be a truly one, one that completely sucks.
garbage. Yet another time I had to mute the microphone because, you know, Google is always behind the times. I'm not chancing a copyright. Yes, at one time, happy birthday could get you a copyright strike. Until some company bought it and made it uh, Creative Commons, but I don't know if YouTube's database has that in. Not willing to risk it. Well, this game totally sucks, so why not the sideways diamond that's so rare in candle pins and dots? But I get all the time. Let's get it over with. This game's a total utter failure. Let's see if we can at least get a milestone in it. The strike streak is officially dead at this point, but it's only been almost three games. If there were a chance of hitting mediocrity, then we would have went for it. The great collapse has continued. 77 is no good. Well, you know, two good games, one bad one, and so far that's actually, for me, pretty damn good for Ducks. Right, this is the part where we show comments when I press the buttons. Oh, Caleb, like, like I said, I got this at an angle that I can't read the damn thing. My apologies for butchering names, like I said. Against the wall at an angle where I can't get close to it. Game number four. Let's see if it's a 50-50 or a 70. In, 75, I mean, in my favor.
collapsing. <laughs> Nothing's saving this. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it can. Seems the great, the giant great collapse has finally stopped. Again, 39, which isn't really that good. So it looks like it's going to be 50-50 even at this point. This game's automatically garbage, unless we mark and get something decent. And I didn't see that, the kid hitting the sweeper. I'm too busy sucking over here. Stinko needs to be a good ball. Nothing's going to save it otherwise. This 
seven feels okay. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about this today. We got the special colored head pin. And if we can get a strike on that. <laughs> yeah. uh, TNC Bank and Trust will pay me 25 cents. that mattered for the bonus sticks around for the night. Crap gaming and squeaked into barely acceptable with a nut. The spare is what saved us, and the decent fill as well. 10, 9, 9, 9. Bottom end of average, 93. This needs cleaning. Bowling balls are slipping out of my hand.
Now you can see right there, depending on the bandwidth, where the talcum powder has gotten all over everything, which is part of the problem. We made our minimal acceptance of three games, and we're on game five, starting. So let's see what happens. Unlike candles, unlike candles, you can graze the corner pins in the gutter. is the big wide gap. So the strike streak is still alive. This game's kind of meh. 10, 8, 8, 8, strike. So far, 44 with two L stink on the bonus balls. I have double striked here once. 
And the other time I got multiple strikes was at North Chumsford and it was a legit turkey. Well, anyway, shouldn't say legit turkey. Unlike Candle Pin, every other bowling turkey is three strikes in a row. That's gonna suck. The fill doesn't, but that kind of does. Might be getting a week eight, but the eight fill is not too bad. Now, it happened before. God, God of the duck's middle finger for now.
all in, so they'll stink with a bonus ball. Now four will get us in the middle of average. effective strike you can get. In the length of time, the erasers on these pencils don't erase. Eight, nine, 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 eight, I mean. Spare with a strike fill. Right in the middle of average again, 106. Yeah, I see two. Yep, there's two, right? Two just bounced into each other. I wouldn't be surprised. I said I'm paying attention to my crap. Sometimes others. Game number six. Means it's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. Let's see what this one gives us. That's an okay seven. Which was ball two moment.
That being said, it's halftime. Got the spare. Then an eight. First ball knocking down seven. Ten. That lovely thing. And a strike. We are at least with 51 and two us think of. Two more El Stinkos. And speaking of El Stinko, Sherman did an El Stinko. He must have known. All right, so two more El Stinkos. First El Stinko finishes frame five. Second El Stinko finishes frame six. Still wet after washing, and that ruined that one. All right, so that makes the fill for frame five a 12. Lousy five fill for the second. Still pretty decent score. First of the fill, that's a five.
automatically a good thing. I don't know if I would say wish it was ball two moment. But we, at least we get the ten. Eight for above average. And there they are. Alright, so we got a strike in six, which made the five a double strike. And unfortunately, the first ball knocked down two, making that fill a 12. And then nothing else after that, hence that being a five. Then a 10, and a 10, and an eight, one 10. Time to go to the front desk and get a second sheet, because only six fit. had this written on the other sheet, failed to tell you, as you can see, brand new one. High single 147 done here, I think this lane, or two, one of them. The other place, 58. But once I moved the camera out of the uh, very short approach, everything was fine. Oh, Scott, I forgot to mention that. Once he's going down, it's not for something I did. Or this lane. All right, time for the second half. Now they got the second score sheet. Yeah, um
Well, now they should be a little nervous. There's our special color dip pin. We get a strike. TNC Bank and Trust will pay me 25 cents. Once again, two will stink of the bonus balls. Let's see what we get. At least an eight fill. is what we got. All right, we got our half time. Nothing but eights and a 10 and a strike with an eight fill and only eight going down. Well, it's still 52, right, in, right there at average. That's a fill. Well, here's our Bob Kaliri, our I guess he did duck and sue.
and a little sharp at the Once again, two El Stinko the bonus balls. Let's see where this puts us. I don't know if they call it diamond or bucket in ducks. Anyway, it's a six fill, which is kind of weak. Need seven to hit the smack dab middle of average. Right in the middle of average. This is being one of my better than normal runs. Being, I already have six decent games. And we only are on game seven, so, well, let's not say. Eight, nine, strike. Lousy six fill, decent eight. Nine, 102. So, game number eight, special colored head pin. They should be getting a little nervous at TC, TNC Bank and Trust, Fitchburg, Mass. They get to pay me 25 cents if I can get a strike off of it. Well, Mario's got to tell Tony the bad news. They got to pay me 25 cents. All right, the best possible start, 2 0 stink of the bonus ball. Yeah, 
At least the ducks went and did their ducky things, which they have been doing here and there. First time I mentioned it. Ain't Phil not too bad, at the least. Bear, so that's a 10 fill. So that means the first frame is a 20 with El Stinko the bonus ball to see where this one winds up. a doable seven. A math error. I put the seven fill, then I added it as if it was the end of the frame. Between the pins, but then again, pins are really tiny. Decent eight out of it. This is one of my better runs. Usually I get four, maybe, if I'm lucky, five decent games out of 12. Anyway, strike, spare, making a 10 fill, then an eight, first ball knocking down seven, then another eight and a spare with El Stinko to determine where that one goes. Three half. Now for K 
handle pins, that would be somewhat impressive. For duck pins, it's still pretty good. Two El Stinkos. This is still not enough to make my high single. Still pretty good so far. Well, that's the first time I chained strikes together in ducks more than once. Once again, two El Stinkos. If I can strike again after a reset. Now, if I can get another strike, that'll be a turkey. So close. First ball knocks down seven, making the double strike, making the first strike fail is 17. So right now this is going to automatically be a much higher than average. Second strike is an eight fill. For a duck pin Cinderella game, that's kind of a shot that somebody who's getting a high score would do. That doesn't count, I'm just trying to get the balls to come back.
I don't know where the guy is. In order to even have a chance at my personal best, I need to mark. This is still a way above average game. We're still in adjusted for averages and everything, a duck pin Cinderella mode. Close, but no cigar with a knife. So close. I think we hit our highlight for today. There we go. Strike, then a second strike. Then the first ball knocked down. Seven from the second strike to fake. 17 fill. Second ball knocking down. Eight in that frame to make for that one. And then it's a nine. Eight, nine. 144. High 147. 58 elsewhere. Well, you know what that means? It's time to crash. 
Exactly, Scott. I was on fire that one. Now I think that now I think the whole thing's gonna fall down. And I found out from even the professional candle pin bowlers that yes, when you have a really high game, you tend to crash and burn after. So it's a normal thing. Let's see how much of a crash this is. Is it at least a decent one? King of the Ducks remain for now.
They're an ultra super rare thing, and I think only one duck pin place has it. Uh, it's making me wish Bullmore put a duck pin installation here. Sherman is not being nice today. was good till that. Now we need a mark. 42. Insufficient in the dust. I guess this is the big crash. Oh goody, the four duckmen.
Yep. Great game. Crash and burn again after it. It ain't the lowest, but crash and burn because we just can't win. Great collapse, good, okay, nah. just barely mediocre. We go from that to that. Can't win. you're wondering if you saw the video of me building a bowling alley very short bowling alley in my basement I'm sizing up the ball returns to my leg Try to figure the right height to put it Mason's was a bit high Putnam's uh, I think that's considered round average it's a hair low but anyway Game 10. Let's see if we can finally rebuild. Decent. 
Follow pretty much required for a good game. Now let's take the bonus ball. Well, the bonus speed. Normal circumstances, that's a pretty good eight, but I don't have that kind of control to aim up. I think Mario's starting to wince again. Special colored head pin. Get a strike. TNC Bank and Trust will have to pay me another 25 cents. Just make the air too high there. Alrighty. Duck remains for now. Half time report. Eight, nine, spare, nine. First ball knocking down eight. Unfortunately, second ball was in gutter. Nine, 53. The gutters are very shallow, so I have to look at the center ball and if it's on that gray line. And if it's past it, it's in the gutter. seems to be a thing.
there's a seven to try and ruin it. All right, that's just plain wrong. The nine pin's supposed to be standing as well. That was so close. Went from hopping to the only one here. All right, we just need three for the official bounce back. It would be on the bottom end, but it's a bounce back. Oh, lovely. And there you have it, spread, spread duck wings with food in its right duck wing. I wonder if the lesson to more thing works. I know it doesn't candles. If I can hit the object. on the low end of average skill, but that is still a bounce back. Nine, nine, yeah. Nine, eight, week, 95. Man, the talcum powder. Hello, Watson, I wonder when you came in. Game number 11. Actually had eight decent ones. One barely acceptable as mediocre and one that sucked. Now that I'm the only one here, I wonder if Sherman's going to behave. Two El Stinko the bonus balls. Oh, Morgan, in a jar. Like I said, I got this in the wrong angle that I can't really read it. Two El Stinkos. I actually double strike twice today. Can it be a third? Duck pin version of a reverse half whisker.
take nine. Welcome to Masons. That would have been a lucky strike because the ball slipped out. That was not a lucky spare. Yeah, I think this is my best showing which means I'm probably gonna have a really crappy one in the fall. Start with a strike, eight, and the only pins that fell were on the first ball. Nine, lousy seven, and a spare. So far we're at 52 with El Stinko. El Stinko lives up to its name with a beautiful two. Too thin. A little lucky with the snare. That means it's once again time for El Stinko the bonus ball. Let's see what it gives us.
Duck's doing one of its other ducky things to turn an eight to a nine. So this is automatically a decent game. Once again, for a little stink on the bonus and I always repeat because, you know, people jump in and out of these live streams. There's the special colored head pin. If I can get a strike, TNC Bank and Trust in Fitchburg will pay me 25 cents. Mario doesn't want to tell Tony again that they have to pay me 50 cents for today, provided I strike here. Mario's having fits right now. I forgot it was a fill, but I remember how it turned out because how Mario was wincing. MCM, granted Springfield's a little slow, MGM, MCM. That was a Lemonster furniture store at one point. Uh, the results are in, but before we get to that. Nine, spare, nine, the first ball making that. And then another spare, nine, first ball knocking down, eight, 118. And the results are in, as they know how ducks generally go. Two to one odds that the game will be 89 or under. Five to one, 90 to 99. 11 to one, 100 to 109. 36 to one. Anything above that. Let's see who gets paid. Thank <laughs> you. 
ten. That's a lucky strike. Ducky's doing ducky things for ducky strike, meaning two El Stinkos. What will happen here? A decent eight fill. And eight it should be. There it is, the spread duck wings. You can't see it from your angle, but there's, there's food in its left wing, so we have to aim for the right. Less and more. Six to ruin this one. Well, the start was okay. There we go. Ten, strike, eight. The only thing, the two balls knocking down there. Then another eight, and a lovely six, but at least a fifth. So the four to ones are getting paid so far.
to a little too late, but still 10. to destroy this all. Still possible to squeak in on an average scale at the very bottom. ones are going to open. I'm going to end with a burn like usual. Also, El Stenko. El Stenko stinks for the lead. ones are getting paid. that were further away I would go, go for it. Close but nine. Almost middle of average, but not quite there. Courtesy of not the 10, but that, I mean that hurt too. And the great collapse that was very short lived. Spare, nine, lousy five fill, 97. 
So here we are. Da, 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 da. Game one, 99, 2101. Then of course we have to crash, 77, that's the low one. 93.4, 1065, 110.6. Come down to seven, 102, seven. So close to the high single of 147, 144. And of course, because we were high, we have to crash and burn. Just barely staying away from Sucksville, 180. Then a 95, then a nice 118, just above average. And then a 97. So actually 10 games were 90 or higher, which is bottom end of average to 110 being upper end of average. And before we head off, here's a leak sheet that kind of proves the point. Fun leaks. You can see the people's average there. 90s, 110, 90s, I mean, right, you got a couple low ones and you got a couple high ones. I swear I saw a high one. Yeah, 160, yeah, 120 on there we go. But yeah, see, it's within the realm of, uh, I forget the name of the duck pin congress. Anyway, that'll be it from Collins Bolodrome, Billerica, Massachusetts. George F551 saying, hope you enjoyed and have a good one. Oh, wait a minute. Let's be sure we say hi to everyone. Okay. Hi and bye. Have a good one.